Welcome back to another video. You're probably wondering why you're staring at makeup right now. Well, I have been experimenting and I've been wanting to buy some pigments and stuff like that, but they're pretty expensive. So I thought, well, that's just cosmetic grade pigments. It's basically eyeshadow. So I went rummaging through my drawers and I found some old eyeshadow and I've had this probably since high school which is a long long time ago and I grabbed this one because I liked this pink color and I wanted to do some kind of a mermaid effect and I came up with this very very pleased with how it came out so I'm gonna show you how I did that stay tuned first off I have on my nails right now the Madame Glam perfect white which is something I like to put on right after I do a gel fill and it makes a nice base for any kind of polish color I'd like to put down and then that makes it really easy to change my design out um, whenever I please which I like to do quite often I don't like to stick with one design for very long so I usually start with that and so that's what's on my nails right now and then what I'm going to do because what we want is to take the tacky layer from the gel to apply our pigments. So I'm going to take and scuff up the top of the nail and remove that shine and then I'm going to apply a coat of Madame Glam's Not Your Usual White. This is kind of like a pearlescent white. It's almost got that mermaidy effect on its own and we're going to put that down as our base. So let's do that. Taking a buffer block here and we're just going to buff off that shine and then once you get the shine off of it you can go in with a coat of your gel polish and then when you cure your gel polish, you don't want to do it for the full time. I'm using an LED lamp, so it takes 30 seconds. What you're going to do is do it for half that time, for 15 seconds, because you want to make sure it has that tacky layer, like really nice and tacky on top, so the pigments will stick. So we're going to take our gel polish. And just apply a nice thin even coat of that okay and then cure that for 15 seconds okay that's been cured for 15 seconds now we're gonna take our pigment and I've got I've just got a little art brush here it's got kind of like a rough end on it and you just want to take that and kind of uh, pull up some of the pigment out of your palette and get a good bit of it and then you pat that down on your nail and make sure you coat it pretty good give that a good pat get it on there where you want it I'm going to do this one I'm going to leave the end kind of white um, kind of like this one here so we're only going to go about halfway down and I believe when you do this with the pigments that you buy for nails they call it varnishing it in to your nails um, it's just a, one of the ways to apply glitter and when you're happy with where it's at you can dust it off I just blow it off a little bit and dust off your brush and then you just want to make sure you rub that in really good give it a good rub Make sure it's really in that tacky layer. And I'm going to fade it down a little bit. And then if you're happy with that, you can go ahead and top coat that and cure it and you're done. And I like that. The fade, Let's see if I can get that to focus better. From the pink to the white, I think that's really pretty. I probably should have came up a little bit higher with my gel polish right there because you can see the white underneath but that's okay 
and once you got that on there it's on there pretty good it's not going to wipe off um, you really don't have to worry about your top coat getting um, a lot of pigment into it once you've rubbed it in there really good with your brush like that it's it's really on there so take your top coat and I do have a separate top coat for glitters and stuff which I am using you know just in case but I've noticed that it hasn't really transferred into that top coat which is nice And then you got your top coat on, and you're going to cure that for the full 30 seconds. And all done. I was using the Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat for my gel top coat. And that's it. You're done. You do that to all your nails the way you'd like. And this one, I did um, kind of like this one with the half pink, half white. I went to a blue tip here. And same thing. You just take your powder and rub it on there and I'm gonna do the rest of them and then I'll come back and show you the finished result there we go they're all done and top coated I did the middle finger and the thumb and I left a little bit of white on the end I did the the pointer finger and the pinky all pink and I did the ring finger with a little bit of blue and I did the same on this side I really love how this turned out and I'm so excited that the eyeshadow worked on so if you have some old eyeshadow lying around that you're not using anymore and you want to experiment grab it up there are no rules just go for it and I'm so happy on how this turned out I may do some stamping over top of it I've got a born pretty plate that has a little mermaid on it here and some waves and a little whale. I might throw some of that on there to finish off the look for my beautiful mermaid nails. Hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's free. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.